Xcode Basics Random Number Generator. Here at the Software Studios, we do a lot of things. Today we'll be we're actually starting a new series on the Xcode Basics series, while Alex, on the other hand, will be doing much of other series. So we'll start with Xcode Basics num Random Number Generator. This is something that every um, person new to Xcode should know. It's a random number generator. It's useful for many things from shuffling items to just randomly generating numbers. So let's start. When you open the Xcode, go to command line tool, because this is going to create a bare bone project. Command to line tool. And we're just going to name it random number. And you can go down here and select foundation. Next. Um, you're going to select the save it tool. We'll just save it to my Xcode projects folder. Okay. So it starts off like this. If you're used to Xcode 4, then this is how it looks. If you're not, please look at our other video on how your way around Xcode 4. So you can go is right here on if it's not open, open it obviously. Um, inside the random number generator, there should be a folder with the project name on it. Click main.m. And you should get this. As this is already a main class, we're not going to be adding any classes. This is a basic tutorial. We're just going to add to the existing main class. So let's start. So I'm just going to delete all that. Okay, we're going to type in ns mutable I'm too lazy to write it, so I just do that mutable array and you go to star array and you're going to end the line as usual and, and then you're going to type in array, this is going to declare what array means equals um, these are square brackets I don't know what the actual names are for them, but yeah. I'm going to type add this mutable array again. And you're going to alloc, which is allocate. Alloc. The square brackets. Init, which is integer. And end line. And you're going to go to init, which integer equals. Sorry, in integer equals one and the line and you're gonna go four which what the integer is for and here we're gonna do the calculation part which will do the main uh, wait sorry that should be I not a number I equals one you're gonna end that there and then you're gonna do I equals less than 49. What this will set is all our random numbers will be less than the number 49. If you want, you can change it to whatever you want and get end line there. And you're going to do I plus plus. This is a programmer's way of saying instead of doing 1 plus 1, this will just do this will just say I plus 1. So basically anything that's from 1 all the way to 49 plus 1. And you're gonna do you're gonna end it with a bracket and you're gonna do the curly brackets. And you're gonna enter. Do NS number. Okay. Star star new number equals square bracket square bracket NS number. And you're gonna allocate it again, all lock, and you're gonna hit it with. Yeah, that's right. Not that the type the wrong there. And it cap lock with. That's it. No, don't want to do that. Okay, so you're gonna go inside brackets, you can write the same formula over again. You're gonna do I plus, but instead you're gonna write I plus, instead you're gonna write three. 
we're going to do bracket, bracket, and the square bracket, square bracket, get it, and the square bracket, and get it, and the line. And you're going to do enter, square bracket, array, add object. You do add object new. That's it. New number, which will say that whenever you generate one, it will generate new numbers. Okay, and then you're going to end with the square bracket and and the line. Now you've done the first part of the script. Now you can do the second part of the script. We're going to do the same four thing we did over there, so we're going to redeclare the same thing over again, which will make it generate multiple random numbers. For I, you can, you can ignore to do this part if you don't wish to have a log. By the way, this will not appear in the interface. This will appear in the log window. So make sure you have log open. I equals one. And then to end it. You do i equals same thing over there. Oh no, sorry, no. i equals 49. And you're gonna end it. You're gonna do i plus plus. We know all what that is now. You should. If you don't, I suggest you go back to the video. Curly bracket, enter, and s. And s number. Star number two print. This is much like Java, in which you want to display number you write dot print. But so it's ne negative C objective C and Xcode is much like Java and C combined. If you think of it that way, you decode classes, and you have many sim similar things to Java. So we do let's say square, and we're gonna go do array. Object at index and just you can just write down i and that declares i as object. This i and you're gonna end it there. And now here's a part that will display the number in a log. You can write down now and that's log and here you can write down add this will display it at when you write add in the brackets after ns log with that tells ns log to display something we're just gonna write down here the number at index percentage that's the module d is percentage at I no it's lowercase number two point and you're gonna that and you're gonna end it you're done your random number generator. So you're gonna click it and save it. Just look at these errors. That's okay. That can be debugged. That's nothing much. That that can just be debugged by the auto debugger. That's after after you've done all this, you've done it, you run it, and good. I'm not going to build it right now, I already have a build copy that I'm going to show you right right away. So I can just generate it. Um, I built a better copy, I'm going to show you an example of what you can do with this random number generator. I'm going to open the console right here. So we know it's coming up. And build debug here. This is a perfect use of the actual random number generator. What you can actually do is, you can actually random here. 
What is this? 1 to 6, 2 to 9, 3 to 12, 4 to 6. What this was actually meant to was random lottery number generator. So this is it. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in for more Xcode Basics.